Hey there, welcome back to How to Blender, the channel dedicated to answering your questions about Blender. And today we're going to learn how to export a video with a transparent background. And in fact, the cube that you see jumping around on your screen right now is actually rendered using the same method. So in short, the cube and the background are two different videos. So let's get right into it. All right. So I have this random cube animation here. And if you are really new to Blender, like a complete beginner, and you don't know how to create animations yet, just let me know down in the the comment section and i'll probably create a guide for you guys okay once we have our animation created all we have to do is go to the render preview mode then go to our render settings and click on film and then click on transparent and as you can see that in my render preview mode i already have a hdri here and there is a video for that on the channel as well so you guys can check it out if you don't know how to do it now click on transparent and as soon as you do that you can see that the background disappeared and your background's now transparent right but wait don't click off yet because uh, this will not make your video transparent this is just works for an image right so like for example if i render this image out and try and save it click on save a copy so as you can see now there are three options that i can save it in like it's black and white rgb and rgba so you always select rgba when if you want a transparent background a stands for alpha which in layman terms means transparency that's one quick tip there if you're saving a transparent image now most Moving on to our output properties and this is how we make our video transparent so then click on output properties click on output just make sure that you're selecting your resolution and your frame rate before you do that select the part that you want to render your animation in now this file format we're going to go ahead and change it to ffmpeg video and in the encoding now this is where the magic happens so change it from matroshka to QuickTime. Now this is supported in Premiere Pro so there's no need to worry about that and probably all, all the other softwares as well. So just go for this video format. The next thing we'll select is in video codex. Let's go ahead and select QT animation and as soon as you do that now you can see that we are getting that option of RGBA right you can play with the settings here just to customize it for the purpose of this video we are just going to keep it as it is now all you have to do is just render it out and as soon as you render that you have your animation so that's about it that's how you do it so i hope that this video was helpful and you guys like it if you did don't forget to like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video